flow again. Uh, we have to find a general solution to this differential equation. So here we go. Um, just looking at it, this looks like one that's pretty straightforward to just separate the variables. So we will just do that first of all. So let me start off. This is this is the equation we've got. Get the y's on the left and everything else on the right. So just um, dividing both sides by y squared minus 1, I get dy. I get y squared minus 1, that equals dx over 2. And now I will integrate both sides and let's see what I end up. The right hand side is very straightforward because the integral of that over 2 will just give me x over 2 plus a constant. The left hand side is not so straightforward, we d it's not a standard form, we don't know exactly what that is, so I'm going to have to use some partial fractions for that bit on the bottom. If I just do that on the right hand side over here, so I've got 1 over y squared minus 1, now that's the same as 1 over y minus 1 into y plus 1, you just have to recognise that's the difference of two squares, which hopefully you do. And then we've got 1 over y minus 1, y plus 1, that's a over y minus 1 plus b into y plus 1. So you get from that, that's an identity, that's true for all y's. Um, and now from that we're going to get 1. Let's just put in some numbers and find out what we get. We, if we put y equals 1, we get 1 equals this time, um, that's 2a, and no b's, so that means that a is a half. And if we put in y equals minus 1, we get 1 is equal to minus 2b. So b is equal to minus a half. So we've got our numbers, we've got a half and a minus a half our a and b and so we go back here therefore we've got the integral of a is a half so that's 1 over 2 into y minus 1 minus 1 over 2 into y plus 1 okay oh, well they've both got a half so let's oh, we've got a half on this side too so let's why don't we get rid of all those halves um, I'm going to multiply everything by 2. Give me 2 times that, I'll get rid of that. 2 times that, I'll get rid of that. 2 times that, I'll get rid of that. I'll end up with 2c. So I'll twice of one constant, I'll get myself another constant here. Um, there we go. So just multiplying everything by 2, I get the integral 1 over y minus 1, 1 over y plus 1. constant. Just call it 1 because it's a different constant twice the first one. And now we just um, integrate those and we're going to get log. So we're going to get long and subtracting logs. So you divide numbers. You get And we can use our definition of a log now. So this is log to the base e. So it's e to the power x plus c equals that lot. So we get y minus 1 over y plus 1 equals e to the x plus c. So that's c1. And just making that look a little bit simpler. This is the same as... And e to the con constant power is just some other number. So we'll just replace that with another number. 
and I use k because it's traditional, as that's all you could use any variable you like. Um, and that's about as simple as we can get until we, you know, got given some point or something, then we, we've got to leave that, that bit in there. So that'll be the general solution. And I think that's about that. The only thing was there was you had to remember, you know, we didn't get, uh, when we got y squared minus 1 on the bottom, it wasn't a standard form, so you had to go through a bit of partial fractions just to find out what it all exactly came to. But uh, there we go. That's that.